Hello there editors, in this video, I will show you how to level up your short format video editing. For 91% of Instagram accounts and 21% on TikTok. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're doing is that we're selecting this rectangle tool and we're creating this shape. We don't want the shape to be too static, so we're actually creating a bit of a roundness. So we're selecting 10 pixels on the roundness. What we're doing now is that we're selecting the fill for the background. We're bringing in a reference picture and then selecting the dark purple. We're now creating the first shape where we will be displaying the information. We're also having zero roundness on this because we're of course going to be showing some numbers and stuff. So we just want it to be sort of like a graph. I'm now using this uh, reference pictures to decide how I want the thickness and the length to be. So yeah, just making sure it fits perfectly. Nice. We're going to be doing some adjustments, but yeah. I'm creating a new layer and also putting the roundness on zero for this other shape. As you guys can see now, we're we're making it a bit bigger to make it really fit our background because that's a bit bigger than Devin and Ned. And now we're selecting a lighter purple for our shape colors. So as you guys can see, we're doing that on both of those. And now we're bringing in the TikTok and Instagram logo. This is our just normal PNGs you can find on Google. And now we're selecting uh, one of the shapes, as you guys can see, and we're going to be adding some uh, background shadow. So just go into blending mode and add drop shadow and inner glow. Here are the settings for inner glow. I'm just playing around with the opacity to get that slight glow. We don't want it to be too dominant, but just to look the right amount. And now we're adding some inner shadow. The settings are here. What we're doing now is that we're selecting copy a layer style and then we're pasting it onto the other layer so we don't have to do all the work twice. We're now selecting the logos and we're adding a simple drop shadow to make it sort of blend better. We're doing this with both of them. Perfect. We are now selecting the background and we're making it 3D. So just copy the settings that I am doing. So this is what we're doing. And also uh, we want to add some drop shadow so we have some more depth as well. And what we want to do now is that we want to group our shapes and our logos. So just press Ctrl G. So once those are grouped, we want to create them to uh, smart objects so we can uh, render them, uh, export them together. And what we're doing now is that we're starting the exporting. We're exporting one layer out of time and this will be so we can animate it better in Premiere Pro. So we're hiding that one and we're exporting this one. And this you will just do with all of your layers. So export them individually. Perfect, so we're inside of Premiere Pro now. Now we're just dragging all of the layers on top of each other and we're selecting the scale, making it a bit bigger so it fits our uh, fits our background and sort of resolution better. As you guys can see, we're just putting it a bit up. Nice, perfect. And now we're adding transform. We're adding that on both of our shapes and then we're taking off the composition and putting the shutter angle on 360. This will give us a lot of motion blur. Now select the opacity tool and put that down so we only see the start of the shape. Then you want to keyframe these. And then you want to drag it to when you want it to be at the top. And then you want to just put that up and boom. Just like that, you have created a simple animation. Now we're just playing around with the opacity because we want it to start out at sort of zero and then sort of blend in. So as you guys can see, the opacity is getting pretty good. So now it's sort of like smoother. We're going to do be doing this on both of the shapes. So just um, do the same. And I'm bringing it up and boom. Now I need to play with the opacity as well on this one. Okay, so after playing with the opacity, I am pretty um, happy with the results that we got on this.
So what I'm doing here is that I'm actually just uh, selecting all of them and then do easy ease in to make it a smoother. All right, so what we're doing here is that we're selecting uh, our font. I'm using the Mozart Black Italic. You can just use whatever you want. And I'm just putting it over, as you guys can see, our bar. And then we're just typing in the numbers. Really simple and straightforward. Um, so to be able to do this effect, uh, we're going to have to use a little tool called Transform and Opacity. So we're starting here just uh, changing the opacity so we have this smooth uh, in. And then we bring on the opacity and we've got a keyframe, uh, the anchor position, position scale, and the opacity. And basically what we're doing here is that we're just changing um, the position a bit uh, as the animation goes upwards. So this is a very slow process, so make sure to take your time so this looks nice. So as you guys can see, I'm just changing it keyframe for keyframe. So yeah, and you just want to make sure the text is just above your animation, just like that. That looks pretty good, actually. Okay, so now we're doing the same on the other one. We're adding the transform and then we're selecting the shutter angle to 360. That's very important. Always turn off the composition and have the shutter angle on 360 to get a nice motion blur. We're now just uh, taking the opacity down so we can get a smooth blend in. And yeah, then we're starting on just doing the scaling with the animation. But al always remember to have on the shutter angle on 360 and turn the composition off. Because uh, <coughs> that's very important if you want to have the that sort of motion blur as you see on the screen now. And when that's uh, moving. So yeah, and then we're selecting the easy ease in just to get it sort of smoother. I would suggest you doing this with all of your project because just having normal keyframes is not good. So I have easy ease in on both of the uh, layers with keyframes and then we need to change the opacity for the 91% as you guys can see it's here a bit early but boom just like that that looks wonderful actually yep change opacity a bit here mm -hmm. then we want as you guys can see the background we're changing the opacity to 90 to get that see-through look uh, which uh, Devin had which is very important and now we're going to start with the text animation and uh, we're going to use the transform tool here as well and we're going to start having it a bit higher and then we're going to take the opacity down and then it's going to be sliding down and once we have fit, hit our final like a destination of where we want it then we're going to turn the opacity back up again as you guys can see so yeah that's just a very uh, nice sliding down animation from the key points that we want we're going to be selecting issues in and that's gonna be that for that animation. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. So, you know, I mean, you could help a boy out. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Other than that, I uh, hope you have a nice rest of your day. And I'm gonna be uploading soon again. So, I'm gonna catch you then. Peace.